In this podcast, we're going to talk about patronage in ancient Rome. And this is something that's not often talked about in documentaries, but it was very, very important in ancient Roman society. And it became even more important in the later Republic. So basically, patronage in ancient Rome was a relationship between the patron and the client. That's what it was at a basic level. Now, it's important to note that the obligations didn't go one way. In fact, they were mutual. So the patron was expected to provide protection and perhaps money or land to his client. But the client was also expected to provide loyalty, perhaps in elections, or if he was a soldier, to go to war for his patron. The other point I want to make is usually the client was of an inferior social class, but that wasn't always the case. Sometimes the patron and the client held the same social rank, but almost always the patron would possess greater wealth, power, and prestige, which allowed him to do favors for his many clients. And like I said, this became much, much more important later on in the Republic. Generals like Pompey and Caesar didn't just plan wars, they spent a majority of their time building these vast networks because they needed people who were loyal to their cause. And that's why it's also important to note, it's not as if, you know, if you think about those later civil wars in the later Republic, it's not as if it's simply Caesar versus Pompey. Now, usually when you watch documentaries, that's how it gets presented. They never talk about anybody else under them. But like I said, it's never that simple. It's never as simple as Pompey versus Caesar. Really what it is, is you have these vast networks of clients that are pushing their patron in a particular direction because they all want something in return for their loyalty. In fact, I think it was either Pompey or Brutus who made a comment near the end that they didn't even feel they were in control of the situation anymore. It was all these clients that were pushing them in a particular direction. And so, like I said before, it was very important for later Roman generals to keep their soldiers loyal. They did everything they could to keep their clients loyal. So, for instance, if you were a soldier and you went to fight for Caesar, he would promise you land and money, basically to keep you as loyal as possible to his cause. Now, given that they spent most of their careers building these vast networks, that was the problem when one of these leading figures died in ancient Rome. So, for instance, when you had Sulla or Caesar or Pompey die, that's usually when things began to fall apart. Because if you think about it, they would build these huge networks of clients and then it was just all gone. So that's why a lot of chaos ensued when you had a death because you couldn't just build these huge patronage systems overnight. It took a lot of time, in some cases decades. So that's why usually it was a very bad situation and you had a lot of chaos ensue if a leading figure in Rome died. Okay, that's going to do it for this podcast. Thanks as always for listening.